Guns and Golds, welcome to Oxygen Not Included, where we are now back again into a phase where we have more power than we need because this geyser now is active, all our tanks are full. Uh, we also have this hydrogen um, vent going, uh, which the chamber is currently so thick with hydrogen gas that uh, the geyser cannot pump out more and we are not using any of it because our batteries are full and then on the side last time we hooked up this uh, this all set up here um, where we will eventually get out some some oil out of it refine it get petroleum out of it so bottom line is we are producing way more power than we are consuming so let's do something about that we will have a floor here and then we will dig out this room we will only make it three high because then we can have a two high room here on top as well um, we'll probably use them for storage We will make these doors out of gold ammo gap. That's that's a bit better uh, for the for the decor. And then in here we will have our recreation facilities at. probably have to research first so let's have a look in here we have not researched everything because up to this point we are a bit uh, we were a bit uh, uh, low on the uh, on the energy so let's see where the things are that we want um, we have some recreation there that's not the one I'm looking for Probably in a morale section. Ah, oh, there we have the juke box. Can already do that. There, that's the other one. So, oh, 
what we want to have in here is this one has leave a bit of uh, space and this one takes quite a bit of, uh, of power so I'm thinking maybe we have another one of these going down here dig that out and then maybe pull this down and have another one sitting there and then we don't need to pull it down that far because then we can have this and we will also dig that out and then we can do a bit more um, decoration in here and that should be good and eventually once uh, we uh, get our oil here we will get plastic out of this then we can also build nicer rooms for our duplicates um, which is also good um, we take the panel gam And let's let the duplicant do a bit of, of work on it. As most of the room is built, uh, we are missing a bit of, of wiring here and there. And I think uh, the card game, yep, that one is also researched. So let's put that one up. And then we need a bit of uh, decor in here. Um, maybe uh, we can have other things in here, like a large one here, and there. Then. pictures um, can also have a, a water cooler back here I think bit of uh, ground molding here at the top paintings and another here at the back that should form a recreation room um, all we're missing here is uh, decor items that should do nicely and then of course up here we can have more of these put them and this all right and 
then I am thinking we will extend this floor all the way over here. Take it out. This. going in and on this side we will create our new um, bedrooms so over here we have barracks where everyone sleeps in a, a metal cot or at least looks like a metal cot even it's made out of sandstone and here we can have nice cozy places made out of plastic bit of decoration and that also should help the, the morale of course having individual rooms takes more space than than barracks but we have seven duplicates we can have some here some there we can have more over here we can even move the uh, the, brick, uh, the the hatch form uh, further down. We have a lot of space that here we can fill, um, so I don't see a, a, a problem with, with that. So let's get them back to work, and I'm thinking because these two they are taking quite a bit of, uh, of uh, power so they have dedicated transformers so let's hook them up together and then do automation and hook that up to there so that way we can say okay if we do not have sufficient power in our batteries then you will not uh, be able to play on these but i think uh, our duplicates have their work cut out so uh, once again um Let's get them doing their work. We are making nice progress over here in our recreation floor. Over on this side, I already have planned out three single rooms. And up here, I have a bit of automation taking the uh, output of this battery so basically if it drops below 50% um, we should not uh, put power on there but the issue here is a bit um, it can fluctuate so maybe let's uh, place battery here on the other side of the transformer and that should uh, give us a bit more power um, that are solely for these uh, appliances uh, and that should be great so now then I think we can up priority here a bit um, temperature wise we are looking at above zero so we need something that can deal with that choya seed seems to be the only option it's 
first duplicates can move in here and then we can have uh, more rooms up here these are a bit higher so i think we can make them a bit uh, smaller uh, because then we could uh, have high pictures above them over here on this side only the paintings need to be done and a bit of, uh, of cleanup but then we also should be fine there right so this one is for Rowan because in the past he had a bit of trouble with uh, um, with his uh, with his sleep, and I think here Mima get uh, this last one, and then Turner will be here. Then we can deconstruct that. That and that and turn this also in a nice private room. And let's see a bit more. Also have two pictures here above. And then we have furniture, crown molding there. Coming along nicely. The Ari currently has quite a bit to do with cooking and decorating, um, but as a in general, there is not that much to do for, for decorating. So. It's a temporary thing, so I think uh, we don't need those, but I think uh, I can make a bit more progress until next time. Uh, maybe now that uh, we have all the power that we want we can also think about finishing up the research because eventually we also have to get out into space and for that we need everything so I will do a bit more progress here uh, for our for our duplicates and then we will see what project awaits us in the next episode until then goodbye